The Southeast Alabama Child Advocacy Center is getting ready to tee off for its 25th annual Tee Off for Kids golf tournament. And so joining us live to tell us more about this exciting event is Megan Dorsey. And it's good to see you again. Good to see you. Yeah. So tell us a little bit more about it. Now, it's not going to be held until September, mm -hmm. but where is it going to be held? So the Southeast Alabama Child Advocacy Center will be holding our Tee Off for Kids golf tournament on September 19th. Okay. That's a Thursday at Highland Oaks Golf Trail. So we're very excited about this. This golf yeah. uh, tournament because it raised critical dollars for the CAC. You know, all the services we offer to our children, we do at no cost to our children mm -hmm. and their right. non-offending family members. So mm -hmm. this golf tournament is very important. Okay, and let's talk about how much money did y'all raise last year and do y'all have a monetary goal this year? We're always trying to raise the most we can right. because sure. we're trying to do the best we can. Yeah. Um, so hopefully we want to get at least $100,000. But if wow, we do more, great. that'll be fantastic because we are working so hard for our kids. Yeah. Um, there's so many opportunities for people to get involved. We have our uh, teams that are still available. We have two slots available. Okay, yeah, uh, let's talk about prices if somebody yes. wants to participate and play. Yes, you know, we always sell out. So if you want to get in, you can get a team for $600. Okay. Or you could be what we call an Eagle team, which you can have a team and a business on for $750. Okay. Um, so those are the two we have available right now. There's other opportunities to get involved as well with our golf ball drop. Uh, that is our annual Event, and we're very excited to have that this year working with Alabama Power to do something yeah. a little bit different and something new. So that's a newer component. Yes. Okay. So in the past we have done our golf ball drop. Mm -hmm. um, so this year we're doing a little new twist to it uh -huh. that we're very excited about working with Alabama Power. Um, and you can get involved in that and actually have a chance to win a $10,000. Wow, I was going to say $100,000. <laughs> nope, okay, <nope. laughs> that's, how do I get involved? <laughs> I'm teasing. Okay, so let's talk about if they want a team, you've said the price, do they go to your website or how do they do that? You can go to our website to get our contact information, but the best thing to do is call us at 334-671-1779 or go to our Facebook page. We're always updating. We'll let you know if we're sold out or we'll let you know what is available. You can simply do it online. Everything yes. easy. Peasy. Okay, so um, you said you always sell out every single year? Yes, we wow. always sell out. We were, you know, we were sold out for a few days and then mm -hmm. we got some teams back. So right now, mm -hmm. you never know. Mm -hmm. We <laughs> may go to the office today, we sell out, so please give us a call yeah. as soon as you can. Most everybody knows, y'all been doing this, what, since the 90s, 25, 25 years. years. So most everybody knows what y'all do and the, you know how it's so crucial to support you guys and what y'all do because it's so honorable, the work uh, that's done in the community. But specifically, Specifically, what does this money go and help? And let's explain why it's so important to support this fundraiser. Yes. So if anybody isn't very familiar with the CAC model, child advocacy centers are really in our community to protect and be there for our children. Right. So whenever there is an allegation from DHR law enforcement of child abuse or neglect, mm -hmm. they make a reference to the CAC. The CAC has something called trained forensic interviewers, which are trained interviewers who know how to talk to a child on their level. Mm -hmm. So if we have a five-year-old that's been physically or sexually abused, they come to our center, it's a child-friendly atmosphere, and they go in there into a special room with a forensic interviewer, and the interviewer interviews them while it's also being recorded, mm -hmm. so it can be used in the judicial um, system. Mm -hmm. um, then they take that interview, and they're able to make sure there's a prosecution, or they try to move forward in the healing process for the child. So very worthy yeah. Yes. Is what obviously yes. I just wanted to explain that. And most people know what you guys mm -hmm. do. I just wanted to, for if there's anybody out there watching this and didn't know specifically what the yes. proceeds was going to go to. Anything else you want to mention about this event that I didn't ask? What time is uh, tea off? Does it start bright and early that morning? At noon. <laughs> At noon. Okay. At all right. Noon. Right in the heat of the day. Okay. Yes. But still, still come and, and, and uh, you know, still bear the heat and uh, it's for a worthy cause. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So, again, that number is 671 1779 if somebody yes. would like to register or participate. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be Thursday, not the weekend, Thursday, September 19th. It is. All right. Well, thank you, Megan, for thank your time. You. And as always, we're going to put more details on our website, uh, dothanfirst.com. And still coming up on Wake Up Wiregrass.